guys, my name is Nicole. I'm a member of the Sawgrass Care Team. My name is Evan. And today we're going to show you how to install your bypass tray and then set your tray paper settings. All right, so with your bypass tray, you're going to get a stabilizer. Um, this is really important for um, making sure like your printer is not going to shake when you're printing from the bypass tray. We'll show you how to install that on your printer. And then this is your support bar. It's going to go underneath your bypass tray. This is going to ensure that your bypass tray isn't sagging with the weight of the paper and we'll show you how to install that as well. So Evan, could you take this little stabilizer here? Absolutely. And you're going to get a screw with that. Wonderful. And you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Let me just kind of set that in there on the back. Yeah. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Just yeah. screw that in there. Yeah, so you'll notice like as you're printing through the bypass tray, you may see some of it like shake and that's just because of the weight. Uh, this just helps your printer stay in place on whatever surface you have it. All right, so we are installed. So what's next? So the next thing you're going to do is add your support bar. It's going to go underneath your bypass tray. All right. Pick that up. Yeah. Can you flip it for me? And flip it, absolutely. Yeah. There we go. Face it this way. Three openings at the top two on the side, and just place it right in there. There you go. Right. Nice and snug, and now it's ready to go on the back of your printer. Perfect, so we'll flip them around again. And then we just want to make sure that that clip and everything else lines up as we put them on there. And we'll clip right in place. Yeah. And see how the support bar is just keeping your bypass tray from sagging? So that's why it's so important to add it. All right, so now we're going to show you how to update your printer tray paper settings so you can print from your bypass tray. All right, so Evan, we have our 13 by 19 paper here. Perfect. I'll go ahead and extend the holder. Yep. We'll want to extend the top as well. Yep. All the way out and a little flip. Yep. And then you're going to put the bright side facing you. And uh, we're on an SG-1000, so that's why we're using the 13 by 19 paper. It's the uh, yeah. largest size possible. Yes. Now we have to actually change it on the yeah. printer itself. So in order for it to detect the bypass tray, you do have to do a system reboot. So we're exactly. going to turn the printer off. And so it's shutting down. And as soon as that happens, we can turn it right back on. Yep. Go ahead and press the power button again. And let it boot up. Yeah. So basically, uh, what we're doing on the uh, tray settings, the most important is letting your printer know what, it, what tray is the priority tray. So it knows I'm only printing from the bypass tray right now. And we're going to show you how to do that. All right. So I'll hit menu for you, and you can take it from there. Yeah. So you're going to go to tray paper settings, scroll down there, press OK. And then right at the top, paper tray priority, this is where you're going to tell your printer. Um, this is my bypass tray, and I'm going to use that right now. So, try one to bypass. Yep, press OK. It'll say programmed, and it's going to go back to that menu. Then you're going to go to printer bypass paper size. Press OK. And this is where it's a little different with 39 by 19 paper. So, I'm going to scroll all the way down, all the way down until I get to custom size. Press OK. Now we have it programmed in here, but you would normally just use the up and down arrows to where your horizontal measurement is 12.99, okay? We round up for 13. Yeah. But like, it's close enough. And then press OK. And then your vertical measurement's going to be there. It's going to be 19. So you use the same up and down arrows to get to 19. And then you're going to press OK. All right. So that's your tray size. Now you can press escape. Now your printer is ready to uh, print for the bypass tray. And next we're going to show you how to update your um, printer settings on your computer. And then you'll be good to go. And now that we got your bypass tray set up, I'm going to show you how to add your bypass tray to your Mac. All right, so begin by clicking on this little Apple icon up top and then hit system preferences. Then you're going to hit printers and scanners. I'm going to five my um, 1000 and then I'm going to hit options and supplies. Then I'm going to go to the options tab and then just select your bypass tray unit and press OK. And that's all you got to do. So now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and send a print to our 13 by 19 paper. And 
I'm gonna go with this little owl here. Let that load. There we go. And it is a larger file, so what you wanna do is go to layout and make sure I got the right printer here. There we go. So under layout, you wanna change your page size to A3 plus Super B. That's your 13 by 19 paper. And that's what we have in the tray right now. And then I'm gonna to go to jobs and I'm gonna make this a little smaller because it is a pretty big file. Here we go. Now we're all set up and very important, you wanna change under material your source to bypass tray, okay? That's letting your printer know where it's printing from. Once that's loaded and it's all good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. There we go. Yeah, 13 by 19 paper is really good for like, you know, your large format printing. I like to use it for my larger t-shirts. Um, you know, just get, you can use 13 by 19, putting multiple images on the paper, you know. It's pretty awesome uh, paper size. Here we go, there's my aisle, my 13 by 19 paper. All right guys, um, that's all I have for you today. If you need further technical support, please reach out to us at care.sawgrassinc.com. Mm -hmm.